your iPad out of the box and, and pair it with your refresher braille using it with notes. Lessons at www.yourtechvision.com. Okay, let's do a lesson as if you have just opened the iPad and you need to get it set up with the refreshable braille display. So we need to go ahead and go into settings. I'm just going to tap settings. And okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into general. And the first thing we need to check is our Bluetooth. And my Bluetooth is already on. And if it is not, go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, you are already uh, searching for devices, but do not discover any devices at this point. So I want to go ahead and go back to general and I want to go down to accessibility. So I'm going to open accessibilities. Before I turn on voiceover, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the screen and uh, turn on triple click home. Triple click home allows you to hit your home button three times and toggle voiceover on or hit it three times and toggle voiceover off. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a toggle voiceover on and it's already set up. I'm going to go ahead and go back to accessibilities and, uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and turn on voiceover which is at the top of the screen and I'm going to turn that on. So now I'm going to go ahead and flick to the bottom and I'm going to go to Braille and I'm going to tap Braille and then double tap it to open it. And I always uh, work with contracted Braille. There is a command to turn it off and on quickly, but I'm going to go ahead and start with contracted Braille on. And then I'm going to go down to the status cell and I'm going to turn that on to the left. And I'm just touching these and opening these and I'm going to go ahead and go back to Braille. Settings. And now I've got oh. my Braille display Double. set up and my student has named her Braille display pig Refresh and we're going to go ahead and open that. Not paired. And now it's pairing. Text field. So now I'm going to need it and one, two, three is the four is the code. So I'm going to touch one, double touch, touch two, double touch, touch three, double touch, touch four, double touch. And I'm going to hit pair and pair that. You need to do that fairly quickly. Uh, as it will lose the connection and it will say basically it did not connect. So if it did not connect, you need to go back in, enter the code one, two, three, four, a little bit more quickly. From this point on, you can do everything exclusively from the Braille display and that is what we're going to go ahead and do. Now, uh, teach your students to use the, the Braille display correctly, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then use your thumbs for your space bar and your dots seven and dot eight. Uh, and so let's go ahead and go back home and we're going to hit H with space and jump right back home. Messages. If you do not hear messages and you need to pop to the top, it's just going to be one, two, three, space. Let's go ahead and pop to the bottom with four, five, six, space. Music. And it moves you to the end and one, two, three, space moves you right to the top again. Messages. So if your student happens to be any place within a document or gets lost, have them go back to home, get to the top and start over. I always tell my parents and teachers, if you have to do anything yourself on the Braille display or the iPad, uh, we need some more instruction because you want your child to learn how to do all of this themselves. So once you learn, teach your student all these skills and strategies so they can do this all by themselves. So let's go ahead and go to notes and I'm just going to take my joystick and I'm going to move it to the right. Calendar. Notes. And anything that voiceover says double tap, basically I'm going to press straight down on the joystick and it will open. And I've already been doing some notes. I'm going to go ahead and add a note. So I'm going to go to add. So I'm just moving the joystick to the right. And there's the add button. I'm going to go ahead and push straight down on it. That note goes away. It's already saved. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and add a new note. So let's go ahead and just practice some brailing. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off contractions just so your student can practice uh, brailing the alphabet. So that's G with space. Contractions off. And voiceover tells you the contractions are off. So go ahead and just begin brailing. Space, 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 D, E, space. I was brailing a little bit too fast for voiceover. So uh, your students will have to braille a little bit slower in order to do it. I'm going to go ahead and turn the contractions back on so you can see what will happen if you do not toggle your contractions back off and on. So G with space. Contractions on. And now we're going to go ahead and do the alphabet again. Space. A. Space. 
Spot. And you can see B turns immediately to but. Space. C can. turns to can. Space. Do. D stands to do and, and so forth. Uh, so let's go ahead and practice brailing some names. I'm going to go ahead and braille the name Frank. And if I was to braille slower, of course, it would be saying each of the letters uh, slower, but you want the child to gain fluency in their brailing. And of course, there's autocorrect tricks also. So let's go ahead and do a new line, and that's just space with dot eight. Let's go ahead and practice the spelling list. So we're going to do number one. Space. And let's just practice a few spelling of words. So let's spell the word cat. Space. Cat. And, uh, and then let's go ahead and hit the new line. New line and number two, and let's practice a contracted word, and I always have the students uh, braille it out uncontracted and then braille with contractions uh, if they're young, if they're older, of course, and they already know the contractions, then of course they would not have to do that. So B-R-A-N-D for brand, and then I'm gonna have them braille it in contracted form, B-R and then the and contraction. And as you can see, you've got brand twice, uh, uncontracted and contracted. So let's go ahead and do new line. New line. And let's go ahead and do number three. And let's go ahead and misspell a word. So we're going to spell the word boy incorrectly, B-O-O-Y. And now the child is going to they hear the word. It sounds incorrect. They're going to go ahead and feel the display. And they're going to go ahead and press the cursor to the Y. And then they're going to erase that O using the backspace and space bar together. Uh, or dot seven and the space is, is backspace. And then of course I'm going to go ahead and and then of course I'm going to go ahead and have them move forward by pressing down on the joystick. Uh, and if you want to have them move through the word to the left, you're going to go ahead and have them press up on the joystick. Okay. And then of course you can teach how to do auto correct also. So let's go ahead and go down to the new line number four. Space. And let's go ahead and spell the word Christmas, uncontracted first, C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A. I'm going to misspell Christmas and put a T at the end instead of an S. And because I had a delay in how I actually spelled it, if you spell a word with nice fluency, of course, it will spell it all the way through. So let me show you that, C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S. Uh, it spells it perfectly, but if you have a delay in your spelling, so C H R I S T M A, and then I pause and then hit T, that's going to actually spell out uh, the word incorrectly. It's going to give you uh, a word you do not want. Now, if you hit your backspace and space, uh, spell check can't even get it. It's so misspelled. So go ahead and just keep erasing. M G S I H H C space. Uh, and then, of course, you space, spell space. that word is spelled correctly, even though it's not capitalized. S -A -M -G -S -I -R -H -C. So now we're going to go ahead and hit backspace, and our autocorrect cannot get that because it is too misspelled. But if you slightly misspell a word, your autocorrect will get that. And of course, if you'd like to know how to do all your autocorrect options, uh, this lesson is available on www.yourtechvision.com. Let's go ahead and go back to home. And that note is automatically notes. saved for you. And when you go back, it will be there. So in your notes, go ahead and hit your enter. And of course, your note is right there. Okay, play around and have some fun.